of hair loss. It is all about DHC, a hormone that wreaks havoc on hair follicles, particularly in men. DHC is what is responsible for over 90% of all hair loss related issues in men all over the world. What is up guys and welcome back to Alpha Mode. Today we are going over the fundamentals of the popular hair loss compound RU58841. And in this video we are going to take a look at how well this compound actually works. So is it really able to stop hair loss? Can it even reverse hair loss dosages and how I personally prefer to use RU58841? So if you're struggling with hair loss and haven't heard or tried this compound yet yourself, this is definitely something for you to stick around for. And before we start this video, as usual, links for anything I show in this video is down in the description. And remember to comment, like, and subscribe for more videos like this one in the future. IU58841, an experimental anti-androgen, is making more or less waves as a potential topical treatment for both acne and male pattern baldness. While it might not be a total hair loss solution, it is und undoubtedly one of the most promising options out there and in my opinion is one of the most important assets that you can have in your fight against a receding hairline. To truly grasp why IU5841 is a game changer, let's first uncover the root cause of hair loss. It is all about DHC, a hormone that wreaks havoc on hair follicles particularly in men. DHC is what is responsible for over 90% of all hair loss related issues in men all over the world. Which means that DHC is probably also what is causing your agony out there. So for most of you guys out there, it's a game of keeping your DHT in check. So when IU58841 is applied topically to the scalp, it competes with DHC and testosterone from binding to the androgen receptors. By safeguarding the receptors, IU58841 allows scalp hair to grow to their fully maturity without being miniaturized by DHC. In fact, a study published by the Journal of Steroid Biochemistry and Molecular Biology named pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics of non-steroidal androgen receptor legions highlighted its exceptional topical activity and tissue selectivity, making it a top candidate for treating androgenic alopecia. Personally, I started using IU58841 a long time ago, and as you can see, I have definitely gained some density on my scalp. I will say IU5841 isn't a magic cheat code or anything, so I am using it in combination with finasteride and other compounds to get the maximum effect out of it. But I have tried to go off the IU5841, and to put it simply, the, result, the results were not something I wish for to ever happen again. So applying IU5841 correctly is crucial for its effectiveness. In this video, I will walk you through the step-by-step -step process that I use. So if you're not sure about how it works, go watch this video on how to apply it. It's fairly simple and straightforward. I usually advise that you get the 80 milligrams for each milliliter, also labeled the 8% solution. And I advise to use something like 0.7 milliliters of that on your scalp each night before bedtime. Personally, I use one milliliter, but that is entirely up to you. Anecdotal evidence suggests that between 25 to 100 milligrams a day works out fine for most users and 0.7 would put you around 50 milligrams daily. You can also make your own solution and I have several videos on how to mix your own RU5841 solution on my channel. So if you want to watch them, go ahead and search for them on my channel. You can definitely find them yourself. Now let's go a bit deeper into the realm of hair loss treatments and explore the Distinctions between IU5841, finasteride and dutasteride. Each has their own strategy and potential benefits. So first let's break down the mechanisms of action on both. 
Both finasteride and utasteride works by inhibiting the production of DHT in the body. By reducing DHT levels, they indirectly mitigate hair loss by minimizing the damage done to hair follicles. However, it is important to note that this reduction in DHT also impact other hormonal process in the body. Now, on the other hand, something like IU58841 is a pretty unique compound in this section. Unlike finasteride and dutasteride, IU58841 takes a different approach. Instead of decreasing the DHC production, IU58841 competes directly with DHC for the androgen receptors on the scalp. This competition limits the ability of DHC to bind to these receptors in the scalp, offering a localized but a great defense against hair loss. This means that DHC may continue to exist in your body, but its detrimental effect on hair follicles is significantly reduced. The key distinction here is the scope of impact. While finasteride and utasteride have a more systemic effect on DHC levels throughout the whole body, IU58841 will instead be focused only to the scalp. The localized approach potentially preserves the positive effects of DHC in other areas, such as muscle growth and bone health and for that sake beard. So it's important to consider individual goals and concerns when choosing between treatments. Some individuals might prefer a broad spectrum approach like taking finasteride or dutasteride, while on the other hand some others might prefer the more locally targeted strategy while using IU58841 to minimize potential systemic side effects. So in this little tug of war between IU58841, finasteride and dutasteride, the choice isn't always about which one wins outright, but rather which approach aligns the best with your personal preference and priorities. So this next section is mostly for steroid users and the like above. Here's a massive upside to using something like IU58841 instead of or just in conjunction with a 5-alpha reductase inhibitor like finasteride. You see, not only does IU58841 compete with unaddressed DHC left over from, from finasteride, it actually competes for the receptor with all your androgen hormones. Meaning that you might take something like DECA and combine it with finasteride. It can actually worsen your hair loss due to DECA not being able to go the original path it was intended to because finasteride is blocking the 5-alpha reductase enzymes from doing their job. Now, are you taking something like IU58841 on the side while taking DECA? IU58841 is not only going to protect your scalp follicles from taking damage from the DECA, it is also not interfering with your hormone cycle that you are using. So I assume that if you are using any kind of steroids, you want them to have the full potential effect and something like finasteride may actually interfere with that, while on the other hand, IU58841 won't. If IU58841 has caught your attention, you can get it from anagenink.com and if you use the code alpha mode at checkout, you're able to get a 10% discount on the whole store. And there you have it, a comprehensive exploration of IU58841 the tailblazer in hair loss prevention. Remember, your hair care journey is unique and results take time. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to show some love by liking and subscribing. And guys, until I see you next time, stay healthy and take care. I'll see you.